Summer is gone and what is left to remind me is the stubborn hyperpigmentation on my temples that keeps reappearing no matter how diligently I apply my sunscreen. What better time to review the Inkelis Alpha Abutin Serum, featuring 2% Alpha Abutin and claiming to fight dark spots. What is it, how do you use it and which skin types do I recommend it for? Let's talk. Hi, I'm Dr. Anne. I'm a medical doctor with a passion for skincare that works. On this channel, we explore the science behind skin and do quick reviews, so you learn to pick exactly those products that work for your individual skin concern. So if this is something you're interested in, please consider subscribing and ring the notification bell. What is alpha albutene? If you haven't heard about alpha albutene before, it is a glycosylated hydroquinone and a potent inhibitor of tyrosinase, an enzyme involved in melanin synthesis in the skin. You heard that right, it is basically a hydroquinone precursor, meaning it supposedly is transformed into hydroquinone in the skin. But due to that transformation step, required is less potent and has a lesser risk of side effects. I talk more about hydroquinone in this video here, which contrary to what you might have heard, is not banned in the EU, but needs a prescription for higher percentages. Alpha Arbutin, on the other hand, is available without a prescription. What the Inkylist Alpha Arbutin Serum claims. A concentrated 2% Alpha Arbutin Serum to help reduce the appearance of hyperpigmentation and dark spots and keep skin at an optimal hydration level. Derived from the leaves of the bearberry plant, this non-irritating serum helps to brighten the skin and improve overall skin tone. At its core lane, helps to increase skin hydration and smoothness. Texture and scent. Despite being called a serum, it feels like a gel moisturizer and is milky white. I did not notice any scent. How to use the Inkelist Alpha Arbutin Serum? It is suitable to use both morning and night, but as I didn't find it to layer exceptionally well with other products, my preferred way was to use it at night, focusing on the areas where I have the most hyperpigmentation, which is around my temples, but spreading it all over my face from there. The added squall lane means that I personally did not feel the need for an extra moisturizer as long as the weather was on the warmer side. Ingredients of the Inkelis Alpha Arbutin Serum Other than Alpha Arbutin, you will find humectants, emollients and a peptide called Tetrapeptide 30 that, according to manufacturer studies, is both anti-inflammatory and a tyrosinase inhibitor. How does it compare to the Inkelis Tranexamic Acid Night Treatment? Well, first of all, Tranexamic Acid is a plasmine inhibitor and interferes with melanin production in the skin. Alpha Arbutin is a tyrosinase inhibitor and also reduces melanin production in the skin, so both work at different steps of the same pathway. That means that both combined could actually give you better results than using one or the other. When you look at the texture, it is actually pretty similar, with the main difference being the scent. The Inkylis Tranexamic Acid has a strong barbecue-like scent that many find off-putting. The Inkylis Alpha Arbutin, on the other hand, does not have that. Which one will work better on your hyperpigmentation, though it's hard to tell, as any kind of hyperpigmentation is best treated with a combination of actives and, most importantly, time. Neither of them are the ingredients with the most research to back their effectiveness of, but in my opinion both make a great support in a skincare routine aiming to treat stubborn spots. If you want, you can even use both interchangeably or give new skin can take it in the same routine. I personally really like it for when my skin needs some extra help in fall to get rid of last summer's traces, but don't really use it all year round. Due to its richer texture and low irritation potential, it will work for all skin types and might be a good option for those hesitant to use hydroquinone. Over to you. Have you used any Alpha Arbutin product before? Tell me in the comments below. And if you want to get a say in which topics I discuss next or which products I buy to review, head over to my Patreon account where you get a vote. I'm going to link to more videos on the screen now that I think you might enjoy and I'm going to see you all very soon with another one. Bye!